Okay, I just thought I would share a little bit, some actual information about myself. Felonious Assault is what I have the tether for. For those of you who don't know what Felonious Assault is, it's education time. That is attacking someone with a weapon. After I was hit in the face with a hammer, five pound sledgehammer, and hit in the side with a tire iron, I beat the shit out of the guy with a retractable baton that I had with me. I carried it. After where I worked at, as many times as I had my life threatened for just telling stupid truckers to fucking move their trucks, I started carrying a retractable baton with me a lot. Can't help it. Just, you know, it's part of the thing. You put your wallet and shit in your pocket. You put that in your pocket anyway. Had with me. Used it. Beat the shit out of him after he did that shit to me. Cops come. I'm bleeding from the fucking eye here, like all down my face. I'm walking. I was going to walk, go fucking take care of my shit. Stitch my shit up. That's what I was going to go do. But it's all bleeding down in front of me. My shorts were all fucking bloody and shit from the blood. Cops are like telling them, yelling at me to get on the ground. And I'm like, dude, I ain't getting on the ground. I'm bleeding from the fucking head, asshole. I'm like, fuck you, man. I'm leaving. That's what I said. I turned to walk. I was like, dude, fuck you. I ain't getting on the ground. I was like, fuck off. I'm bleeding from the head. I was like, I'm, fuck you. And I fucking walked away. And he come fucking running and grabbed me and shit and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, <laughs> I wasn't letting him throw me on the ground. And he did not like that. So, I, after a few times of him trying to hip toss me and shit like that, and I know all this shit. I do. I know how to do that shit. I know how to do it better than him. For goddamn sure. Because he couldn't. I, so finally, I said to him, I was like, dude, you better just go home to your mama before you get hurt. He got fucking pissed as shit. Called for backup. I couldn't say for certain how many showed up. But I know there was at least ten. For sure. And I'm going to come clean right now and say, I'm 44 years old. I'm 44. It took ten fucking cops. Just to get me to sit still and I was not fighting. I was not resisting in any way. I fucking swear to you. Scout's honor, I swear. I just was not letting them throw me on the fucking ground and shit like they want to do. It took ten of them motherfuckers. And they come, smeared my ass all over the ground. Because, they, oh, he was pissed at that point. You know I was going to pay for it, man. I had road rash on my fucking shoulder, on my back. And I, oh, I, they fucking drug my ass. I still laughed at them motherfuckers. You should have seen them when I tried. I almost got my fucking handcuffs around my feet. Because I can do that shit. The one fucking flipped the fuck out, jumped on me and shit. It was hilarious. I just wanted to get my cigarettes. That was all I was trying to do. I wasn't trying to get away or nothing. I just wanted to get my cigarettes. He flipped the fuck out, though. But, yeah, I'm 44 years old. That's why I say I'm pretty good shape for my age, man. I am. I, I ain't trying to toot my own horn, which I can, by the way. I'm a horn tooting motherfucker. <laughs> you think I'm joking? <laughs> Maybe one day you'll see. I'm kind of a fucking bad motherfucker. I'm not trying to talk shit. I'm really not. But, dude, I... I'm not a little guy. I'm not. I'm actually quite fucking strong. I just... I would so much rather be a teddy bear cuddled up to a fucking big old pair of boobies laying there fucking holding on to a chick smoking some pot all full Watching fucking TV or fucking whatever or eating her fucking pussy. I'd rather be doing that. That's what I'd rather do. Have a good time. Smoke some pot. Cook some food. Tell some jokes. Fucking bullshit. Listen to some music. Dance around a little bit. Have a good time. Fuck like motherfucking animals. Everybody's happy. Anyway. Just thought I would share. A little fucking info about me that you didn't know before. So, to recap, you're an asshole, and I'm 44 years old. I'm sharing, coming clean, ooh, big secret, oh my goodness, it's just, oh. I'm 44. Felonious Assault's what the tether's for. Has since been dropped. Still pending is the resisting arrest, which really, if you want, I, I don't call it resist because I wasn't fighting. But that's what they call it. 
So, and the reason the resisting arrest was resisting arrest was thrown out was because I wanted to go to court, which I did. Like I said before, I don't have a choice. I had to go. The crackhead didn't show up though, so he got thrown out. So peace from the violent but non-violent hippie. I would rather kiss you than punch you in the fucking mouth, but I can do both. And I can cook really good on top of it. Punch you in the mouth, make you something to eat. You wouldn't be able to eat it because you wouldn't have no teeth. You can smell it though. All right. Just thought I'd share. Everybody have a good one.